It's really nice to meet you guys. I've actually met you before, Kristen. Uh, you were at the Republic of Doyle premiere. Oh, right. And you passed by, and I was like, hmm, I've never seen her before, but maybe I will. And <laughs> Hallelujah, and here I am. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's just to start off something simple, uh, like any interview, if you can tell me a little bit about yourself. Kristen. Uh, uh, I'm Kristen Peller, and I'm from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland. Um, I've been here at the company for six years oh. now. And uh, yeah, and I go home half a year and, and work on the book as well. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and I'm Gregory, and I'm from Picto, Nova Scotia, and I've been here for about four years. And Kristen and I actually went to school together. Uh, we were uh, at the National Theatre School. We were a year apart, we were in the same class, but we just discovered that we might have been. We could have been. We could have been. But, uh, wow, that's uh, pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's kind of great to be working with each other because it's been almost 10 years. Yeah. We don't want to date ourselves now, do we? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> one year. It's been like two years ago since like we graduated. Six months ago. Six yeah. months ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was a interesting point you guys brought up because I was wondering when I saw, okay, she was in the National Theatre School, mm -hmm. he was in the National Theatre School. Were they together? Because you guys have done a lot of shows together. Uh, quite a lot of Soul Pepper shows. Yeah. A few shows even outside Soul Pepper. Um, how is it working with the two of you? In general. Really, like... It feels really good to work yeah. together, actually. Yeah, it really does. Really, really good. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's it's really great. It's really fun, and it's uh, because we have a shared you know relationship that we knew each other. We you know we weren't close friends by any means. Yeah. We were at school, but we knew each other. We talked, and Roy's a really nice, open person. Um, so you it's nice, too. you know, you know, you're doing a play like this where you have to play, you know, chums. It's nice to. It's not a complete stranger. Yeah, and sort of have like a there's an unspoken understanding. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. very cool. Now, of course, at some point in your lives, when you were at some point, you had to choose where you wanted to, like, essentially what you wanted to do with your lives. And you chose the performing arts. Now there are so many careers there out there. Um, I always ask, why the performing arts? Because everyone has a different story or a different reasoning behind it. So, what's your story? Um, I was just always compelled to do it, so I sort of n knew, like, at, at, at 14 that I wanted to, and, um, I've sort of toyed with the idea of other things, but I always get called back, and I just, it's just, I, I, I need to do it, I have to do it. Very cool. Yeah, same thing. Um, something I always wanted to do, and luckily my parents were supportive um, but uh, but yeah it's sort of something I never really questioned it's something right. I really yeah I needed to do I wanted to do and I'm sort of lucky enough to be able to follow through on that right now of course you two have gone and done different sort of mediums of performing arts you've done TV films stage is there a genre you prefer is there a medium you prefer from all of them um I just like to be stretched all the time so it, working in different mediums uh, always demands that I sort of be, stay flexible and open and so anything that helps me to be a better actor I like I, I, I just like to act so yeah it's <laughs> very cool how about you Greg? well I, I, don't, I have zero television and film right. experience uh, just working on stage which I love an amazing place. That's what I right. to do, yeah. It's right. so pepper, it's so great. They do these amazing plays in Toronto. It's fantastic. That's very yeah. cool. So let's get to the meat and potatoes of this entire okay. interview. The real point I'm here. Mm -hmm. So you have this new show, you can't take it with you. Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, that sounds like something people would tell me a lot of times. Because <laughs> I nick stuff like there's no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm not a thief. Mm -hmm. It's free, but I take too much. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if you can tell me a little bit about the show, um, just an overview. Yeah, it's a it's a it's, it's an American play written in the mid '30s uh, by Kaufman and Hart, who were two very famous uh, American playwrights. So they worked together um, quite a bit, and it's the story of um, you know a family, the Sycamore family, and uh, Kristen plays Alice, and uh, she's the normal one, quotation marks, of this sort of very um, charming nut job sort of <laughs> family, and she gets. Um, she falls in love with, and he falls. And I, I play um, Anthony Kirby Jr., who's the, the boss's son. We work in the same office. We fall in love. I come from a very conservative, upper class family. She comes from this nutball family, 
and uh, the families meet, and that causes a lot of uh, friction, tension, and, and, and humor. So it's, uh, so it's, I don't know, it's, it's a really beautiful, beautiful, very, very funny, funny play. And really touch it. It's got a great message, I think, of just staying true to who you are and, and what you love. It's very cool. Yeah. Like in the process of doing this, like I know I've been told many times your characters are very interesting, um, especially in the context of the play. Have there been any challenges that you personally have felt in sort of developing your character or um, the whole play in general? Well, we sort of talked about how funny it was to be playing like the the straight person. In yeah. The yeah. The, we're sort of yeah. We're like the. Again, straight, straight to being like the normal, like the normal, other like the straight guys, the straight characters. Yeah. So and with with you know, who sort of, yeah, it's it's quite it, that's challenging because it's. Yeah, you sort of have to, it's um, just to have to play that contrast all the time and. Yeah, it's fun. It's basically being above normal, making yeah. normal look more specific. Yes. <laughs> yeah, being specifically yeah. normal. That's, yeah. That's a good way and it becomes abnormal then. <laughs> yeah, because everyone else is, you know, it's in nuts. another way. Yeah, everyone else is nuts. Wow, that's so, very cool. Yeah. So, um, if you'd like to tell the audience um, anything you want specifically, any message you'd like to give to them, I know the show's coming up, so uh, if you'd like to the camera. You'll have a great time. Yeah, yeah, it, it's very sweet, very funny, very, uh, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a really, really great play. It's a great, it's an amazing company of actors. Um, I hope you speak of us, you know, you're all right. Um, oh, wow. but, but, the, but, the, but it's an amazing group of people, and uh, I think I'm really proud of it. That's very yeah. cool. Show, so That's very fun. cool. Very cool. So now, in, in general, um, how's the future like? What's next? I know this play hasn't even started, so that's a kind of a stupid question. But uh, where do you see yourself going forward? What uh, is the next step for you guys? You sort of wait to see what, what comes. <laughs> what <was that>? so <laughs> I don't know, you, you tell me. Wait, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, I think I, um, short term, I, I start rehearsals in a few weeks with the next few plays that are coming up here right. in Soul Pepper. And, and I think that hopefully, I'll, you know, I'll speak for myself, but hopefully we get to sort of, hopefully it's be a very popular show and they might remount it. Yeah, that would be so much it. fun. Um, and, uh, and being part of the company is fantastic. And so, like, how great to work on a show after this together. Yeah. That's very cool. So now I just wanted to ask this one question because uh, for me, my audience consists of primarily students. And mm -hmm. students always want to ask the question, why should I go that way? Um, if there was one piece of advice you would give to anyone who wants to dabble in the performing arts, whether it be acting or any other mm -hmm. medium, um, what would that one piece of advice be? I think if if you feel that it is a real calling to be patient and give it time mm -hmm. to grow like give it give it time don't don't give up too too soon or be too hasty about big decisions mm -hmm. very I think. Cool. Right? yeah and if it's something you want to do uh, if you know if you want to be an if an actor for example but a work for a musician or a choreographer or a dancer or something but you know go out to the community that you're in and see what's happening there you know see the you know if you want to be an actor go see the plays that actors are performing in in your community you know identify the actors that you like that you think are great actors or interesting actors and then you know knock on their door send them you know try to give them a message saying I really love what you're doing I love to do what you're doing and so it starts the uh, the conversation going uh, so you know if you're a Musician, same thing. See, see who's out there. See, see who you like, who you like, and who, what what company you'd like to keep. Very cool advice. Well, I thank you very much for joining me today to oh. have this little chit chat oh, in a pretty it's beautiful nice library. Room. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. Um, I wish you best of luck with the show. Uh, I hope it is a huge success because I would like to see it remounted as well. Yeah. So I, I can come and pick your brains again. Great. <laughs> yeah. Um, so best of luck, and I hope to see you at the show. Yeah. Fantastic. All right.